Hey, my beautiful Tauruses, welcome to the Moon Magic Tarot family. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Welcome to all of you who are already following my readings and welcome to anyone new. The first thing we are going to do, my beautiful Tauruses, is draw an affirmation card and I am seeing this one coming through for you and also an oracle card as well. Now, these readings are new moon readings, so we're seeing what the new moon is bringing for you and we're also then looking at your monthly predictions. We're asking for information about the coming month and I will be doing some extended readings on Patreon where we look in much, much more detail at your money, career, finances and your relationships. So this is your overview of the coming month, my beautiful Tauruses. So let us have a look because... Having just done the, the overall moon energy update, wow, horse freedom. <gasps> Taurus, your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and you accomplish your dreams. What I was about to say, and it really literally took my breath away, was the energy this month, this moon month, really, it, it kind of asks, asks us a question. It says, what would you like to change in your world? It's time to rewrite your own script and let your new story unfold. If you haven't yet checked out my Moon Month video, you might want to do so. There's real detailed information about the incoming lunar energy. Let's have a look at your affirmation. Your affirmation says, my thoughts become my reality. How interesting. So you have a card of power, freedom, something calling you and of you being given the resources to follow through with it and a recognition that your thoughts, so there's a very conscious part of rewriting your story here, rewriting your own script, because if you're trying to do something in real physical terms, but your thoughts are kind of almost like voicing something opposite, then there's a, a contradiction in energy flow here. How interesting, my beautiful Tauruses. May we have information, please, for my Tauruses. We have four cards. Let us draw another as well. I'm actually seeing this one for you. Okay, let's see what we have. Look at this, embarking on a journey. The three, this is the three of fire, but traditionally this is the three of wands. Oh, and another three, the three of air. What are you learning? Are you starting a journey of learning, a course, um, reading a new book, as in a book that will give you information, guidance? Are you actually writing a book? You're embarking on something. Yes, you are. We have the ace here as well of air. I say the ace of air. Hmm. No, that's not the ace of air, is it? It's the ace of water. Hmm. Looking at such similar colouring here, similar colouring that's really striking me. Yeah, so we have the Ace of Water, which is the Ace of um, Cups here, and the Three of Air, which is the Three of Swords. How interesting you have two threes and an Ace. Then you have the Six of Air, and then Emotion Intellect. How interesting. How interesting my beautiful Taurus is. Right. How fascinating. This is you starting on some kind of a new venture, a new pathway of learning or a new pathway of something that is, even if it's a creative project or, or something along those lines, I feel like you're basically setting off on an adventure. Now, it could literally be physically where you set forth, you're going on holiday, in which case we're going to have a look and see what that holiday is bringing for you. It could be a holiday romance even for some of you. It could be that you embark on a new pathway of study or you set about generating or starting a new project of some sort. But there is something that calls you to a new pathway of freedom, of liberation and being given the courage and the strength to follow it through. Curiously enough, I do feel you know, my thoughts become my reality, my beautiful Tauruses, as if there could be a reticence in taking this leap. With the horse, freedom, your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. 
you have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength, you follow the winds of change and you accomplish your dreams. I sort of feel that you're going to need to be, um, there's going to be a degree of communication going on between your mind and your emotions. Because on the one hand, it's like, I, I think an opportunity calls, calls you, um, what's that saying? Opportunity knocks, like something knocks on your door and says, come on then, you know, how about this? And your heart just leaps at the very idea of it. And then you begin to sort of like, ooh, you, you begin to think, well, is this really practical? Could I really do it? Could I really achieve it? And this is what we're seeing in this, my thoughts become my reality. If you sit in a space of self-doubt and debate, it, it could actually kind of tangle you up to the point where energetically it, it's harder to move forwards. This feels like a really, really amazing opportunity. I thought it was really interesting that I mistook this for the ace of for the ace of air um, which is in fact the ace of swords and this is the ace ace of water of cups so this is like new love it's a new opportunity a new beginning of something and it's something that fires you up emotionally okay you really want this there's something you yearn for or it's really interesting you may not even have technically been yearning for it I think, you know, really for some of you, it does feel a bit like it kind of comes out of the blue, but it resonates with you. It, it actually is something that you've held as a, perhaps a longer term goal. I, there's a sort of a, a bit of a toing and froing. Don't be rigid here. It, it, this is not a black and white situation. There's a lot of possibility here. You know, this is like a rainbow bridge to something. You're being offered something here that... I feel like it sings to your soul, okay? But at the same time, my lovely Tauruses, inherent in, in your beautiful nature, because you're so grounded and you're so earthy, um, you prefer stability. And this opportunity, it's like being called to an adventure. It's like, it's like setting off on the hero's journey. It's very interesting. I was doing a little bit of writing early this morning, actually, to do with a course that I am creating about teaching people to read uh, tarot cards. And I was talking, uh, I was writing, I suppose, the script for, the for one of the videos, which is actually about storytelling and the history of storytelling as well, like the hero's journey. And it's like when you when you watch a movie and often a lot of movies, even though they are unique, the story is unique to each of those movies, but they follow a kind of a format. It's the hero's journey. The hero is trundling along, maybe in a safe sort of zone, or they're just about to start school or they're doing something or a new job or whatever it is. Then something comes into their world that just kind of pings open a doorway. It's like a call to action, a call to adventure. And, and then they set forth into sort of unknown territory. And they're now on a new chapter of their own personal hero's journey. And there will be some ups and downs along the way, of course, learning curves. Um, you know, it, it's very interesting. There's, there is a kind of a format to storytelling. And I feel like for you guys, this moon month is promising to send you a call to action, a call to adventure in some way, shape or form. And because of your delightful, earthy, steady nature, I think some of you will be going, I really, really want this. Uh, and others, but, but you know, a little part of you in that earthy nature will be saying, but it means change. And I like stability. I like to know where I stand. I like to know what's coming next. You know, I feel much safer with my feet on the ground because this feels very watery, very fiery and very airy. If you have a look here, there is no, uh, there are no earth cards coming into your reading Taurus and you like earth. What you've got is the horse, the freedom, the power. So remember your thoughts become your reality. Let's draw some more cards for you and some more runes. I think an opportunity, this is the biggest message coming through for you um, from this new moon reading with the monthly forecast ahead. I think something is coming knocking at your door, Taurus. Okay. Oh, how beautiful. So we have the card of success. I am thrilled. 
wonderful so we have the six of pentacles at last you have some earthiness coming in you have a, some pentacles you have the six of pentacles how delicious so this is a card of success it's a card of material material arrival okay so that's great for you guys because you kind of need that so there's your promise and then we have though the prince of cups this is kind of i, I always feel this has a lot of Scorpio energy about it so this is interesting for you guys Scorpio being you know opposite um in your in the zodiac to your sign of Taurus so this is taking you on a journey that matters to you it has depth it has um learning look at the card here of look at all these um kind of cosmic symbols here with the owl as well um this book of learning yeah this is this knock of opportunity this knocking on your door this call to adventure taurus that is coming during this month it may come around the new moon as well because new moons herald beginnings i think it is really bringing you something that you are going to deeply grow from um yeah, I always feel with this Prince of Cups, it is a, like a card that is ruled by Scorpio. Transformation, rebirth. This is a big opportunity. H however it knocks on your door, it's a big opportunity. If you're on holiday, traveling, en route somewhere, journeying, and, you know, you meet someone or an opportunity, you know, keep an eye out for signs, signals, synchronicities. Look at all these symbols here all of these symbols here you know you're going to be shown something i i do think it's quite likely to be taurus when you are already out of your immediate area your immediate zone so i, th I think we are being shown something here quite clearly that that this window of opportunity <clears throat> the knocking on your door will come when you are, I, I don't think it's going to come knocking on your door at home. I think you will be out and about. It could be a day trip. It could just be visiting friends, family. It could be on holiday. It could be literally driving somewhere or wherever you are. But I, I do feel you'll be out of your immediate home environment. And it will be an opportunity of genuine significance, of depth, of meaning. Okay. And with the Prince of Cups, yeah, I do feel it will. Yeah, I think it's going to. I think this could move forwards quite quickly, almost taking your breath away. You know how um, I took a, an intake of breath uh, at the beginning of your reading. Yeah, I feel like it, it could, this could sort of take your breath away. Now, the card of cruelty is very interesting that we have this nine of swords here. Now, the card of cruelty, it kind of indicates two things. This is a slightly different pack. It doesn't have a standard king, queen, um, uh, knight and page. It, it actually has like a knight, which is kind of like the king. It does have a queen. And then it has a prince and a princess. So this is kind of like the Knight of Cups, really. Moving forwards quite quickly. With flow. Yeah, with flow. Now, the cruelty card is interesting. This Nine of Swords, my beautiful Tauruses, because sometimes it can indicate directly that someone is being genuinely very cruel to you. What it can also indicate is what I would call the inner cruelty. Now, it comes from the fact that someone's been cruel to you, you know, but those, those voices, those inner voices of doubt, the inner criticism, the inner slaughter, you know, sometimes our in, internal critical voices are more like, it's more like an internal bully you know, this won't work out, this won't happen to you, this person won't be the person you think they'll be, or, you know, those inner voices. And I think something comes along that knocks on your door that is both calling you in such a magnificent way and simultaneously it activates a lot of that inner dialogue 
where you are thinking, and it has come from history where somebody treated you badly. Those inner voices that say, oh, I can't really trust this. I can't really step out of my, set, my comfort zone. This isn't going to be a safe place to go. And yet you really, really, really want to. You're kind of getting swept along by it here. So there's some advice coming through here in your reading, which is be very thoughtful that your thoughts become your reality. Be conscious of your thoughts. Okay, you follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. There is a knocking at your door, although I don't think technically you will be at home when it happens. We are being given information here about that. And I think it will send you into a bit of a spin in the best possible exciting way, except that in your lovely Taurus earthy way, you'll be thinking, I don't want to be in a spin. I just want everything to happen in a planned and sensible way so that I can see where I'm going and I feel grounded. You know, it, it's that kind of flavor. Okay, so it could fire up that inner criticism. Remember, this is not a black and white situation. If anything, I think this situation is bringing you a kind of a rainbow bridge to healing. And a lot of transformation is possible through that healing. This is that Scorpio energy where we dive into the shadows, our fears. We face our fears and we come out the other side. We are reborn. We experience a rebirth. Now, I'm going to draw some runes for you, and I also want to let you know of a particular date, okay, during this moon month. I mean, do check out my moon month video. It gives you very detailed information about the incoming flow of lunar energy, because there are some quite intense moments, but also a lot of major progress during this moon month. But we have a day, and it happens on June the 22nd, or between June the 22nd and June. Um, June the 23rd, okay, so just after the solstice, and we have a 17 and a half hour void of course moon. Now, if you don't know what that is, the void of course moon is when the moon moves from one zodiac sign into the next, so it means the lunar energy, all of that magnetism that comes, to, it's to do with the sun and the moon together, and the, the, the magnetic pull between them, when that happens, um, the moon moves from our perspective between signs. And so her energy takes on the personality traits of that sign. And when there's a void of course period, which there often is, it means she's in between two signs. So her energy isn't being influenced by a particular sign. And so that can feel wonderful because it can feel really liberating and there's a lot of freedom attached to it. On the other hand, my beautiful souls, it can feel very wobbly and a bit out at sea if you are feeling unanchored or things are moving forwards very quickly. I would not be surprised, my beautiful souls. I did wonder if something might come at the new moon for you. It might be you get an invitation around the new moon, like an opportunity is offered to you. But if it is around the solstice and that period of time, um, June the 22nd particularly, I feel, is a, a point where if you are experiencing new possibilities, you might find yourself feeling feeling them quite, quite deeply, okay? So it'll be very interesting to see what happens for you guys around the solstice. You know, do give us feedback. Come back to this video and give us feedback in the comments. I think that's quite a pivotal time for you. The solstice energy is a turning point anyway. And it may, there may be connections and reminders um, because the solstice energy can um, create a window where we connect to, to history. But I think it's more than that. Something is knocking on your door. There's a golden opportunity here to emerge again in some way, shape or form and, and to find your freedom. It, it's really, really exciting. But that void of course period, June the 22nd, I'm actually going to draw some runes for you first. Then I'm going to draw a card that very specifically connects to that date for you. Let's draw some runes for you first. Okay. So you have constraint, um, then you have movement, and then you have the blank rune. Okay. Very interesting energy. <coughs> Excuse me. So I am seeing with the rune of, um, of Nathas constraint. This is feeling 
um, feeling like something is feeling restricting or back to that debate it may be your own internal thinking patterns that are restricting you or you kind of you get an invitation and you think maybe i should really stay at home and work um, but actually you really really want to do this i'd be rather inclined to do this we've got movement something opening for you the, the gathering of momentum something building and coming from a, a space and an opportunity so i wouldn't be holding back even though a part of you might feel like you want to, you know, because historically maybe something was previously difficult um, difficult for you, buttons are pressed. There's opportunity here with the blank rune. There's major opportunity being offered to you, Taurus. So whatever this is, whatever comes um, knocking at your door or whatever you are doing when you are out and about, if someone or something arrives in your world, I kind of want to say seize the moment and it's giving you an underlying level of soul growth to process something of that inner criticism that is potentially getting in your way of really being able to manifest and have what you really desire. Success is your card, your key card here. It's the one card that is here in an earth sign, in, the, in an earth sign, it's an earth card, the pentacles, the six of pentacles, success. This is the promise of something that is, it's a major opportunity. Let's draw you one more card connected to this particular date, June the 22nd, to this void of course period. And there is your card. Look at this, the inner critic. Okay, so I think my kind of feeling that that key date whatever happens as the month evolves whatever shows up at the new moon whatever happens through i think maybe the point where you have your biggest wobble about embracing the new trusting the new doing the deep dive i think it comes around that time and it wouldn't surprise me because the energy of the moon on that day she's in between leo and cancer so you've got all the celebratory energy of leo and then there's this massive 17 and a half hours of of sort of like where does the energy go how is it channeled kind of, and that can really leave us feeling a bit out at sea so be very conscious my beautiful tauruses june the 22nd if you are having a wobble you might want to bookmark this video come back remember if you have a wobble come back and tune in well i need to say to you my beautiful souls that literally a red kite has just flown over my garden i'm sitting and looking out of a window now we get lots of birds here buzzards but we don't see red kites very often that's i feel a really really important sign and signal for you of freedom of rising above seeing the bigger picture don't let yourself um fall into or dissolve into that inner critic this card asks you to transform your inner critic into an inner critique. The realistic appraisal and constructive feedback of a critique will enhance your ability to step into the very best version of yourself. Whereas ongoing and persistent criticism will wear you down, eroding your confidence and your belief in your abilities. Everything in your reading here, I'm gonna cover up, use it to cover up that nine of swords. Everything in your reading, my beautiful Taurus, is, is suggesting that this knocking at your door, this call to adventure, this call to action is leading you in a pathway that will bring you success. So whatever that is, when it arrives, there's a layer of inner growth as well where you remove the inner critic and liberate yourself from that and then you get to move forwards and actually move into a space of so much possibility and it's something that you will love my beautiful tauruses beautiful souls um thank you so so much for joining me it's been an absolute gift to do this reading for you it feels so exciting so have a magical magical moon month um, i look forward to seeing you for other videos and other readings um, i will be doing now the extended readings they are on patreon and we will do a deep dive with more information about money career finances and relationships so if that extra information is really appealing to you or singing to you do check us out on patreon and thank you to all of you who are already over there 
Thank you for all of your love, support. I, I cannot tell you how much it means to me. And I know, you know many of you follow my readings consistently. You are really, really, really appreciated. I cannot tell you, um, you know, how grateful I am. And, and to read your comments, you guys are on such an extraordinary pathway of growth. Your sharing of your world, of your stories is absolutely magical and remarkable. And I love the way that you support one another as well here. This feels like such a strong community. So beautiful Tauruses, thank you so, so much. I look forward to seeing you for my next reading and um, I'm sending you all the love in the world and a very, very, very magical, liberating, exciting moon month.